Welcome back to another update. And as you can see, we have started laying down bricks for this project in Kenya. So immediately after the foundation had cured and there was no more need to keep on watering it, the contractors went ahead and started laying down the bricks. As you can see, the first line of bricks was going down and all the cornerstones had already been set. Now you may wonder why did I choose to go with concrete blocks? The reason number one is strength. Concrete blocks have excellent load bearing capacity and can support heavy weights. As you know, this project is gonna be a two story building. The second reason was cost reduction. Concrete blocks can significantly reduce the cost of building, limiting the use of natural materials just as clay bricks. Believe it or not, each one of these concrete blocks takes the space of about you know one to two clay bricks. The third reason is energy efficiency. Concrete blocks tend to absorb and retain heat. So during the cold hours of the night, the heat that was absorbed during the daytime when the sun was up high would actually be distributed throughout the home and pre, you know keep you from being cold at night. As you know, in Kenya, we do not have central air or heat. The fourth reason is durability. As you know, these concrete blocks will last a very, very long time and they can withstand extreme weather condition, including heavy rains or even fire. And speaking of fire, did you know that concrete blocks are non-combustible and fire resistant? They won't burn, soften or bend during a fire. Another reason is sound insulation. So concrete blocks are excellent in providing insulation so that once you close your doors and you're inside your home, you can keep the world outside at bay. And unlike their counterparts, the clay bricks, concrete blocks offer smooth surfaces that make them easy to clean. So if you're building a house and you decide not to plaster the outside, at any time you can power wash or power spray concrete blocks. Unfortunately, you can't do that with clay bricks because you, you might end up washing away part of the clay bricks. But enough about the reasons why I decided to go with this material. Take a look at how this project is coming along. This is two days later after they started laying down the first brick. The contractors and especially the foreman that they have on site are making tremendous progress. They're working hard and they're moving pretty fast and uh, in actually laying down this brick. Which also brings me to something that I alluded to when I made a small little YouTube short, I stated on there that whenever you're doing this project, it is recommended that you hire qualified contractors and avoid hiring family and friends. And it's not that family can help you do this project. Your family has an important role whenever you're doing your project, but you wanna hire qualified, reputable contractors with a proven track record who can come in and get the job done. Is it going to cost more? Yes, it is gonna cost significantly higher. However, the peace of mind that comes with knowing that should there be an issue, should there be a claim, you can actually pursue that all the way and recover any damages from a contractor. You cannot do that with family or friends. So that is why you have to treat this as an investment. You have to treat it as an investment all the way until the project is done. Now, I will be making an in-depth video on the reasons why I chose not to hire family. This does not mean that family does not have a role to play. They have a very important role, but it is not to build your house. So consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell so that when I drop that video, you'll be the first one to know. And as you watch this video, if you are in the middle of a construction, if you have any questions about some of the materials or some of the decisions that I've made and why I chose some of the types of materials that we're using for this project, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer with the details or make another video explaining my rationale. So back to the video. As you can see, the contractors have been laying down some brick. They're going around. They're doing a great job. This is actually day two of the block rent lane. And as you can see, some of the windows are already taking shape. From the cameraman's point of view, he is standing right outside the door. And then here he turns a little bit to the right, steps in, 
and he's in the dining room. And then when he pans to the left, this is going to be the kitchen. And all the way at the top, that's the pantry. As he's panning back to the right, look at the size of that wall that is just now coming to view. This is day two, and that wall is already at shoulder height. The reason why this video seems to be moving in slow motion is because the cameraman was moving so fast I had to slow down this section so that we can appreciate the amount of work that has been done in such a short amount of time. This shot is entering one of the bedrooms and I just want to take a quick moment and pause right here to appreciate the size of that window. One of the sets of instructions that I gave to the architect was that I wanted to use a lot of natural light into this building. I wanted to make sure that during the daytime I did not have to turn on the lights. I could just open the curtains and I would have a lot of natural light pretty much lighting up the rooms. And as the building takes shape you're gonna notice this continuous trend of large windows, big enough doors, so that we can utilize as much natural light as possible. And while the work of brick lane was going on, we had encountered another problem. The power lines were too low, so we had made a call to Kenya Power and they came and installed a different pole that was gonna increase the height of the power lines and also upgrade the power system from a two-phase to a three-phase. I hope you enjoyed this quick little update. Consider subscribing. I have a lot more updates to come down the road. And as I always say, take care of yourself and be kind to one another. <music>